I have my weekly grocery haul and also my weekly Dollar General haul. I'll start over here with Dollar General. Um, I had all digital coupons. Everything here had a coupon. So I'm going to start here with this all free and clear. It is It is 24 loads, 36 ounces. I got three of them. They were $4 each. There was a digital coupon. If you bought two, you got $3 off. And if you bought one, you got $1.50 off. So, pretty good deal there. And then I got three of the Febreze air fresheners. They're $3 each. And there was a digital coupon for a dollar off of one. And off of two, it was $3. So, another good deal there. And then, this Tide Simply with the Oxy. It is... There's 13 pods in there. So, this was $2.95. And there was a $2 coupon on it. The Arm & Hammer. 17 packs here. This was $3. And there was a $2 coupon on this. And then, because I, my total ended up being more than $25, my 5 off of 25 came off, because it's Saturday. And, y'all, here is my receipt at Dollar General. Before tax, every coupon came off, plus my 5 off of 25 before tax there, $9.45. With tax, $10.99. Total savings of $17.50. So, I basically paid $10 for all this, and, you know, these are three each. These are four each. I got some really good deals for my prepping area in my house, so I'm real happy with this deal here. Next up is my Sam's haul. I just needed a few things. This is a two-pound container of cherry tomatoes, and it was four ninety eight. dollars And then I needed celery. This has got three big hearts. 32 ounces also, and it was $2.92, and then here's a big, boy, everything's 32 ounces at Sam's, isn't it? So I got this big bag of broccoli florets, and it was $3.98. So, again, no receipt, but here's my numbers at Sam's, before tax, $11.88, with tax, $12.71. My last stop was at Ramey's. Uh, they had some pretty good deals today. Um, I, I, I like to get the pork rinds whenever I see, you know, sometimes they're out, you know, but today they had a bag that wasn't, a, you know, wasn't a whole lot. So I got this bag of fresh fried pork rinds for $3.92. Their two liter bottles of Coke products were a dollar each, limit of five, but I don't need five. So I got two of the Diet Coke. I meant to get sour cream when I went to Sam's, but I forgot. So we've got here a pound and a half. And it was $2.99. I also was running low on my soul food seasoning sauce. So I got two of these for $1.19 each. I needed onions. Didn't need a whole lot. So I got three of the loose onions. They were $0.99 cents a pound. And this bag of three was $1.42. They also had their bags of Kraft shredded cheese on sale to two dollars each and I think I don't know if it was a limit or not but I got four I got two of the Mexican four cheese one of the sharp cheddar and one of the Colby Jack and the rest is meat this right here is turkey necks they're a dollar eighteen a pound so we've got almost three pounds for three thirty five they had their boneless skinless chicken breasts on sale for ninety eight cents a pound this is almost four pounds that's 363 i got two of the ground beef not on sale but not too bad this is a little over two and a half pounds for 723 and this pack was almost two and a half for 4667 and that's everything i got at ramey's today so here is my ramey's receipt and before tax, it was $41.59. After tax, $44.50. And that's everything I picked up today. Let me put this away and I will be back. 
All right, it has been a while since I've actually made a weekly menu plan. You know, I've had trouble since my daughter went away to college making, coming up with anything for a regular meal plan. I've just kind of been throwing together, you know, sandwich meat or cook some sausage or cook a burger patty or something. But now that my daughter is home from college for the semester, um, I went ahead and made a menu plan. So this week, today, Saturday, November 21st, we're going to have burger bowls. I've got lettuce and we have that ground beef. So I'm just going to make burger patties and we'll have like burgers in a bowl with, you know, all the fixings that goes on a burger. And then tomorrow, Sunday, November 22nd, we're going to have meatloaf muffins and just a side of green beans. And then I've got the chicken, so I'm going to do... On Monday, the 23rd, a sheet pan chicken with roasted vegetables. That's quick and easy. Tuesday, November 24th, we're going to have Cheeseburger Mac Helper from the Southern Keto Cookbook. And that's right here. This is the Southern Keto Cookbook. It's by Natasha Newton. It's one of my favorite keto cookbooks. But, yeah, we've had this before and it's really good. And then again on Wednesday, another Southern Keto cookbook recipe, salmon patties, and we'll have that with broccoli. And I, we've had this before too. So, and here's my little note. I make a note with a little sticky on the recipe because it does call for salt, but it doesn't need it because of the, you know, it's got Parmesan cheese in it, so it doesn't really need salt. And then Thursday, of course, is Thanksgiving. And I'll show you that menu in a minute. And then Friday, we will have leftovers because we will definitely have plenty. Okay, here is my Thanksgiving Day menu for this week. I'm going to have a roasted spatchcock turkey. That's where you cut the backbone out of the turkey. I do have a video. I do have a video that I posted uh, back in January about how I do that. I have this step by step how to do that. So, I will post a link to that in the description box below, and um, it's a really good method. The The turkey is juicy. The breast meat is, is juicy, and it doesn't dry out because, you know, like if you roast it whole, you know, you have to uh, roast it longer to get everything cooked, but, you know, by the time the dark meat is cooked, the breast meat is dried out, but this way, it's all juicy. Okay, and then I'm going to make a regular southern cornbread dressing that my nana used to make. And then I'm going to make a keto version of the cornbread dressing. There's a, in this southern keto cookbook is uh, a keto version of cornbread. So it's, I'm going to make it, I'm just going to substitute the keto cornbread for the regular cornbread. So this is for my daughter and this is for me. My daughter has requested regular, normal green bean casserole just the you know what's on the what's on the pack of the french fried onions right and i did a couple of years ago do a keto version of it but i decided it's just not worth it to me so i would rather do a broccoli salad so she'll have the green bean casserole and i'll have a broccoli salad so i got that broccoli that's the reason i got the broccoli was for this broccoli salad and then my daughter has requested a chocolate cake for dessert so, one of my local fruit stands near here is selling them, so I'm not baking it. I will go pick it up and bring it home. And that fruit stand has really good food, so I'm going to get that for her. And I was originally going to do the keto cinnamon muffins. Um, I've before done that. It's, it's, again, it's a recipe in here. Um, and they're really good, and I may still do that, but I found this recipe... Um, for this cinnamon bun butt cake and you know, I tried to print it from the website I found it on and it just didn't print right I mean I was having to fill in the numbers because it cut everything off on that you know on that left hand side so I just kind of copied it and um, it looks good and it's from mycrashtestlife.com and I will link this recipe in the description box below, but yeah, it just for some reason didn't format correctly when I tried to print it from the website. So, uh, either I'm going to do this for my own dessert, or I will do the cinnamon 
keto cinnamon muffins from Southern Keto. And that's going to be it because it is just my 18 year old daughter and myself that's going to be here at my house for Thanksgiving. And so there we go. Well, y'all, there's my grocery haul for today, my Dollar General haul, and the menu plan that for this week that I've not been doing for weeks and weeks. It's just, I don't know, I guess it's just because it's just me, and I just don't care, <laughs> you know. I just eat whatever. I'll eat leftovers or just find something, just come home from work and fix something and throw it together. But I really need to get better about that. I mean, I should still be able to me meal plan when it's just me by myself. Um, so I'm going to keep working on that. But I do have a menu plan now. And uh, my daughter will be home for several, several weeks. She doesn't go back to college until sometime in January. So I will link in the description box below my video from where I did that turkey. And um, it, it's, it, it, not only is the turkey nice and juicy and it's, it's so beautiful and it tastes really good it also cooks a whole lot quicker when you just take that backbone out of it and you push it down flat it cooks a whole lot quicker in the oven i mean it's done in almost no it, it seems like it's done in no time i forget it i have to look back at it it takes an hour hour and a half it doesn't take that long you know i mean i've done a whole turkey and it takes several hours in the oven and um but, yeah, check out that video because it, it's a step-by-step -step method on how I do that spatchcock turkey. But that's going to be it for this video, and I will see y'all later. Oh, and I may do an organization video later on. I picked up some stuff, and I need to get some organizing done this afternoon, so I may... I may record that. But, so, but yeah, more videos coming, and I will see y'all later. Bye.